I've done a number of bushcraft style videos on this channel in the past. I've done foraging for food, primitive fishing, and two fire videos. Something that I've never covered is water. More specifically, how to find some that won't kill you. In March in the UK, birch trees are just full of sap carrying water and nutrients to the new buds. For a long, long time, people have quite literally been able to tap into that fresh water supply from the birch tree, apparently producing litres and litres of sweet, refreshing hydration. And in this episode, I thought I'd try and learn how to do it. To the forest. There are two main methods to collect birch sap, and Birkin Tree, a company making products from the sap, were happy for us to try out the method they use on their trees. Later on, I'll show you the other method, using my own tree in the garden. So we have a birch tree, and we have a knife, and we're gonna give it a go. This is day one, hour zero. Okay, one moment of serious chat here. Taking water from a tree, you are going to harm the tree. If you want to try birch sap, do not go into the forest and start hacking into birch trees. Make sure you do this on a tree that you own and be aware that the tree may not recover from this. Okay, serious chat over. First, I needed to create a little tap for the sap to run from. I decided to hollow out an old fire spindle from last season. Actually, that might just be perfect. That's a horrible noise. Right, that is perfect, I think. So obviously, in a real survival situation, you wouldn't have an electric drill. However, hopefully you'd have a knife. So I think what you do is basically hack your way into the tree past the bark to have the sap flowing. But I think that the knife is actually gonna create more mess and the tree will have a harder time recovering from that. So since we are not in dire need here, and we have the electric drill, I'm just gonna drill into the tree. I think that's the best thing to do here. Oh God, look at that. It's running already. That's amazing. I can't believe how fast this is coming out. Is this gonna work? Oh my days, it's working. <laughs> I think we could actually probably just capture it like that. This has been maybe two minutes. It turned out that the learning curve here was not getting the tree to give up sap, but rather forming some sort of primitive tap to gather it. I was losing a lot by it dripping down the tree. I found that making a taper in the elder branch solved this problem. I actually thought we were gonna to have to leave this overnight, but as you can see from the flow rate, it's quite high. We've only been here maybe half an hour tops and the milk bottle is almost half full. So what I think we're gonna do is take a drink and then plug up the tree. So fresh birch sap with a little bit of mud in it, but that's okay. Oh, that is gorgeous. It's really strange that it's cold. You just don't expect it to be cold unless it's coming out of a fridge. But it's cool and it's slightly sweet. And it's very, very drinkable. Really, really nice. I could chug the whole thing, no problem. Taste it, Kim. Birch sap is surprisingly pleasant to drink. It has a very subtle flavour with a mild sweetness to it. Thankful to this old birch tree for what it provided us, I plugged it back up. When I returned home, I was eager to try the second method on a birch tree in the garden, which involves simply cutting a small branch and collecting the sap. It actually gave me very similar results. If you have a birch tree in the garden and are aware of the risks of harming the tree, perhaps give birch sap a try. 
I want to share a hack with you that I've found that really helps me when I'm learning or concentrating in general and will certainly come in useful for when I try and solve this little bugger. Video out soon, hopefully. I listen to what's called brown noise. It's just a really non-distinct sound in essence. I'm not sure why this works, but a bunch of other people also use this to concentrate, to study, or to fall asleep. I really think you should give it a try if you have trouble staying focused or losing concentration. And if you're lacking a decent pair of wireless Bluetooth earbuds, our sponsor has you covered. So these are my Bluetooth earbuds from Raycon, and the thing I like most about them is that they don't fall out. They just sit nicely in my ear and they don't have that tail that gets caught when you're working out or when you're laying down. Raycon are kind of disrupting the industry right now by offering premium quality wireless audio for half the price of the usual suspects. These, the everyday buds, give you six hours of playtime and they pair seamlessly with Bluetooth and they come in a bunch of different colors. The only thing I can't show you on screen is how they sound, but Raycon are pretty confident you'll be satisfied as if you pick up a pair of these and they're not up to scratch, you can send them back within 45 days. In addition to all that, my viewers can get 15% off their order by going to buyraycon.com forward slash Mike Boyd. The link is down below. I really encourage you to try out the brown noise thing. It really works for me. And if you need a decent pair of wireless Bluetooth earbuds, check out Raycon. The link is down below. And thank you very much for watching.